You know, I really wanted to do something for, for Stoke, having been brought up here um, and it was really where I was first introduced to dance and, and drama and I wanted to give something back to the community um, that's really close to my heart. So it was really just ine inevitable that I would get involved with uh, the Creative Minds Festival. You know, it really is about encouraging young children, um, young ad adults in um, the performing arts, whether it's making a film, uh, dance, drama. Um, and it, it was just such a wonderful experience. Uh, you know, you can't help but feel emotional when you see these young kids uh, performing and being so talented. And, um, you know, I, I, I just wanted to continue. And um, so I'm here again. And I think there's about 41 different groups. Um, so it's growing. You know, I'm staying at my mum and dad's for the week. I've got my family here. And it's great to be back, you know, it's, it's just really, it, it, feels, it feels like home. I love the, the spirit of the, the people here, everyone's very open. And, you know, I think there is a lot of cre creativity in the area. I don't know whether it's in our blood because of the Potteries area, which is, um, which is creative. Uh, but I would like to, I'd like to show that, I would like, um, you know, to, to put Staffordshire on the map as being one of the most uh, creative areas. Just arriving, it, it took me down, um, you know, the nost nostalgic uh, um, trip, really, on a nostalgic trip, because um, I was going in all the little lanes going up to, to the house um, and it reminded me of my school days, um, St Dominic's, which uh, I've got very fond memories of. It feels good to be back here. You know, for people to, to share their gifts and to teach others how to do it, uh, it's, it's for free. People can express themselves. Um, if, if I can make people feel just good about themselves and um, it's something that I think they'll remember always and hopefully will repeat in the future. I really want to, to carry it on. I think there's plenty of talent and it's, it's also for you know, youth groups, um, people that you know, wouldn't be able uh, to pursue their, their dreams um, and special needs. Um, and uh, I think this is a way that they can uh, channel um, their talents, uh, aspirations, um, dreams, where possibly they wouldn't be able to do it. I think it's going to be a good experience purely because of the fact that we're trying to like, merge in drama, music and uh, dance into the three to a certain extent. So. Yeah, okay. definitely. Like, for me, it's, yeah, for me, it's something like it's, it's show off the music that I've written because yeah. I kind of wanted to show the people it's that. It's hard for us. This is the first like, performance that we've actually done through college that we've had like full control of. Yeah. Like, we've, we've had full control of it and everything. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good opportunity that is. And then to come perform it on a, a high scale on a stage as well. So, really so we've been to this as well. I'm yeah. quite excited about seeing like, the size of the thing. I think the award's going to be great, even, yeah. even if we don't get to get to win, like we get to see everyone yeah. else playing. There's we've, a lot of pretty good put, acts. Yeah, we've put time and effort into it, so why not? If we don't, we don't. We've made the best team we've ever had. It's about the connection yeah. between sort of Burn and Stoke via the river, and sort of the good and bad connotations of that, really. You can write your deepest secrets, your darkest passions. The world seems like acting like a child, so let's see a dance and not the age of 10 again. part of college last year and uh, through my colleague Jay Wilcock who sort of said she'd like me to help out this year because she wants to bring in a little bit more music uh, as soon as that category was singing. So myself and Jay have been working together in a close partnership to bring students from both my area and her drama area together. You know I think this is a great opportunity for young people and I think uh, you know I want the college I'd like to sort of 
but come back to us next year and uh, invite us back. So I hope that happens. Yeah, well, it's a fantastic opportunity for young people. Um, I think obviously the fact that they get a chance to experience a big stage, they get a chance to explore their own creativity, they get a chance to work with a, um, a professional in a certain field, just give them sort of experiences which they can obviously take on board for life and also uh, raise their sort of skills uh, for jobs, careers maybe um, that they want to take on board. It's done really well so far, it's been absolutely fantastic to see sort of them create something from scratch, um, kind of work with the practitioner, come back a week later, show so much development and so much sort of um, interest and passion in it and then sort of obviously kind of make it happen, something come to life on what was technically uh, absolutely nothing. I think, um, I think the students might be a little bit daunted when they sort of see the size of the stage, uh, but I'm sure they'll cope with it. You know, they've, they've really put a lot of time and effort to, uh, to make, make it happen, and, and they'll do a really good job. I'm one of the many facilitators on uh, this particular Creative Minds Festival. I was involved last year with a group of um, guys with disabilities and being invited back to work with four other groups this year. Yeah. Awards are absolutely ace. It'll give, give everyone a chance to kind of show off those that have really kind of excelled in one, another, in one way or another. Like a stage this size and prestigious, it's, you know, it's an amazing opportunity and it's got to keep going really. I think the Bertorellius have supported it amazingly and will continue to support it for a while longer at least.